Hello, everybody. Welcome to Minecraft Story Mode, Episode One. I thought I'd give it a try because I've heard some good things, some bad things about it. But I played a lot of Minecraft, so I thought I'd try it out. So here we go. Start right away. Oh, I gotta pick a character. I'm guessing the those are girls. Um, why is this guy all different stanced? Weird. Okay. Oh, he is too. Um, go with this guy. Episode 2 is out now, so. Order of the Stone. Okay. Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zorin the Architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Um. Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. I'd have to go with the giant chickens, not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because... They would be an abomination. Imagine I like the giant too. feet. Like I said, an abomination. A lot of chicken. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know... Amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are! I didn't mean anything cooler. by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. <sighs> I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what they Who think? Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> Ow, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was on. <laughs> Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. That's what you get, Axel. 
I brought you good times, and now I'm being punished for Creeper it. Creeper can't you climb ladders either. Nothing's so. fun if you're not scared half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of fireworks. course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. He's an ender pig. As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zippity doo da. Okay, relax. It's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. I'm waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Grab me stuff. What do I have to grab? Okay. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Faster. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Yeah, I'm using a Xbox One controller even though I'm playing on PC. Because I don't know why. It's plugged in, so I just decided to use it. These. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. What the heck? Maybe someday. Dr. Ruben. Give me a dragon roar, Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Like the babe reference. Is there anything in this chest? Hmm. Flint steel? Not too shabby. Anything? No. You have to carry him out of the tree. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Gabriel! Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be I'm careful looking at the, the costume. Uh, the last time Gabriel saw a dragon, uh, it didn't end well. Voice actor list for this. And I guess Gabriel is Lee so, and Pee Wee Herman's Ivan, but I don't know who Ivan is. For a so. living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's <laughs> stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben oh. with us. We basically have no chance. Um. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning Pretty how to love very winning. Depressed. <laughs> that didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might on be onto something. It. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Uh, then again, you scared the crap out a of us. A zombie! Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a Creeper. Eh, 
It's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? How many times have we gone to this competition? Before. Let's get to grabbing then. We're Grab so it. prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, 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 no. Preparing is daring. No, that's that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. team. Prepare. Prepare. <laughs> Oh, that montage! Hella swole. Ah. Get all them sheep. Oh. Oh, it's kind of funny that they put a montage, like, thing there. We know what we're building, we've got all the stuff for it, we are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build, I'm ready to win. There we go. Nice pig, losers. <laughs> oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So Ooh. cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much uh, for losing anonymously. The Nether Maniacs. The Nether Maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. We've never even been to the Nether. Who the Nether cares? Okay, Nether Maniacs, you guys are in booth five. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. Like a tank. Take stuff out of it? Hmm. Nope. Okay. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. Ooh. We're gonna lose. Um. What are you worried about? We've got this. Who are we kidding? We've got nothing. Man, she's so negative. We've got a mascot. <laughs> we should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> good one, Gil. So good. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. <laughs> I'm talking about your pig. Uh, you really shouldn't mess with Reuben. I do what I want. Ooh. Besides, what arm can a pig do? Keep talking and find out. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. Yeah, Aiden, you scrub. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the build going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price? 
I'll help anyone. If you need anything, help me win. Me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. And if you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, We're gonna crush make you. us about how cool our builds are. We're going to crush you. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but we're pretty good. Oh, wait. I get it. It's like a joke, right? No, I'm serious. We're going to destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're really funny. That's awesome. Hey, good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The Endercon. winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? Lame. We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the uh um builder the bump. Builder bump. <laughs> Sick. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan, and everything will be fine. This year, the Nether Maniacs can't lose. Nether Maniacs. Let's do it. Building starts now. Building. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry <laughs> about your build, and we'll worry about ours. A zombie, right? Yeah. A wool zombie that shoots fireworks behind it. Not the best idea. <laughs> now, the, top. the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love a zombie? Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh, what a dick. <laughs> oh no, Ruben's on fire. Come back! It was Aiden that pump. The lava's getting closer. Gonna ruin the build. Ruben's going to get lost. Um. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. You guys stay and save the build. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be careful. We'll meet up with you at Endercon. 